think it's I think now it's picking up. Okay. It says it says meeting Hi, everybody. on Facebook. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping that it's that we're going live. This is my first time doing it without Umberto hosting, so I'm hosting it today. Um, we're here in the office. I don't see it coming up on on Facebook on Jimmy Air Connect. I just yeah, got the notification, Monica, that it's it, you're live on. Okay, so let me let me put this camera back on. Um, I hear I'm here at the office. I'm at GMAR today. Um, even though that's just a background, I can definitely choose a virtual background, hit none, and everybody can see that I'm here at the office. Okay, I know that Nick is supposed to join, and I'm waiting for him to come on, and I can email him. How are you doing, Jonathan? Doing good, doing good. Just ate a quick bite. There he is. Uh, there he is. It's coming in. Coming in hot. <laughs> I will say that. Tell you what, it is it is warm outside already. I much prefer the lighting at home. The lighting here in the fluorescent lighting in here is really bad. <laughs> but virtual background at Monica. Yeah, well, it that's it's the lighting that still I still look washed out. Um, pretty badly. There's Nick. There he is. Hey, Nick, I think you're Nick on mute. Bro. There you go. Uh, hey, everybody. So er, people have been joining. I have 12 people that are on right now. Um, and I'm hoping that more people will join in the next couple of minutes. Um, Anita's yeah, on. Edwards on. So um, we have a couple of, of things to talk about today. And one of them, I'll start off with the office. So as everyone can see, I'm working in the office. Staff is working in the office this week. Um, we are not um, open to members walking in. We're doing limited member access. So if you need to come into the office or if you need to buy signs, you need to make arrangements via email. So lock boxes, you would email Lee. Signs, you email Yoli. You would tell her what signs you need. You would then get an invoice, pay the invoice online, make an appointment to come by the office. And when you're coming to the office, you would call in and Yoli will let you know, um, or you'll let her know that you're on your way and she will place the signs outside for you so that if you drive up, you pick up your stuff and you move, you go. Um, we're limiting the, uh, the people coming into the building for this week. Starting next week, we are open then to membership. Um, we will have a check-in station right by the front door where we're gonna ask everyone to use antibacterial products on their hands, whether you're wearing a gloves or not. Um, we're gonna have you use some antibacterial. If you're wearing gloves, a lot of people wearing gloves, keeping them on, going to multiple businesses with the same gloves on. The purpose of the gloves is for you to take them off after every use um, so you don't cross contaminate, um, but that's not what's happening. And so we wanna just go above and beyond to make sure that people are, are have, um, you know, that we try to help eliminate cross contamination. So we'll have front, a station at the front where you'll just use some antibacterial stuff on your gloves or on your hands. And uh, we are asking that people come in wearing masks. Um, and I, I when, when I'm in my room or in my office, um, I, I don't have my mask on, but when I walk out to any areas that m multiple staff use, like the copy area, I put on my gloves and I put on my mask just to kind of help us protect e each other as well, you know. Um, we just want to make sure that everybody is is going above and beyond to continue to be safe and protect each other. Um, so I just want to know next Friday, next Monday, we're open to the general public and or to the general membership, and we can't wait to be able to go back to normal. Although it'll be a little while before we're fully back to the way doing business the way we do. Um, and guys, I don't know, y'all can tell me, but. Nowadays, like I'll even watch TV, be watching TV 
and seeing something that normally wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought twice about and I even if it's a movie or you know like an old sporting event and go you know remember when we didn't have to wear masks like how are they you know wow like it, it makes you think twice doesn't it guys oh yeah definitely <clears throat> <laughs> even our conferences I mean, too yeah hey I mean I mean I'm, I'm sorry to be the, I'm sorry to be the one to say it but Day one, I was told I didn't have to use the mask. I didn't use the mask. So we'll make, do we name you patient zero? Negative. <laughs> negative. <laughs> negative. Yeah, there's a few so, others. That's, that's no, but that's great, Monica. Good, good to hear that, you know, hopefully our slowly but surely our association is going back to normal and where, you know, members can come back and you know, use, use the office, use the resources that, that we have there available. Um, one thing I want to add it on, Nick, before we bring you in to discuss about the fishing tournament, um, you know, members, uh, Monica and jump in because I have a feeling I might mess this one up here a little bit, but the uh, members by now should have received an email and or a text message um, asking you for your online voting. Um, this is for the waiving of the third quarter dues. So that, that vote is out for members. Um, it is up to membership vote. Uh, be sure you get out there and vote, whether it's online, by email, or if you open the link on text. Um, it's just a one question. You answer yes or no, submit your answer, and your vote is cast. Uh, you don't get to vote once on phone, once on your computer. It's just one-time vote, and that's it. So members, if you all want to vote for waiving the third quarter dues, or you don't, just feel free to cast that vote and get out there and perfect monica has it up there for us with the uh instructions on how to do it yeah on on the screen y'all should be seeing the instructions that were emailed out um last week by umberto um i am going to also post these in the comments uh in the comments so y'all can come back and, and read these um, but these are the voting instructions for membership, whether you received it an email or an SMS. We did already receive a list of bounce backs from the voting, the company who's hosting the voting. And so if you have a bounce back or if you can't find it, email Umberto or myself we, or even Yoli and we can email you the key so that you can vote. However, there were very, very few bounce backs. I was very happy to say, I'm very happy to say that, that there were a very limited number of bounce backs, but every single person should have received it either via text or email. There was no one, not one person that didn't receive it in one way or another. Um, and that's really great. So I think we're having a lot of, um, uh, I, I would say it's a very low rate of bounce backs um, for any, you know, so for us, especially when I, you know, we send out emails, a lot of times we get more bounce backs than what we've gotten mm -hmm. right now. Uh, and a lot, some, a lot of the, the, some of the bounce backs that we got is because um, landlines were placed where mobile numbers should have been. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Um, so if it was supposed to be a mobile phone number for an SMS for a text, but somebody typed in their landline there, that's the only reason that we've had some bounce backs. Um, I don't know if y'all want to talk real quick while I have y'all voted, you two guys. I did do, I did my voting this morning as soon as I got the text message. Okay, I saw like the email, but I've not had a chance to sit down and knock mine out, but I will. Okay, so if you it, it'll take yeah. less than thirty seconds. It it really is a really quick vote. Um, I I ha did was a did a test of it, um, and it was very very easy to to use. And that's one of the reasons we liked this company. Um, they they're used by many associations for all kinds of elections. So we're very happy to have this um, this company do hosting hours. And like I said, we've got great feedback already. First thing this morning email telling us the bounce backs and giving us um, the, who those individuals are. So we have the list of the people whose um, either phone or email was was sent back um, so that if they're still having a trouble finding it, we can give them the key uh, via email directly. Um, but we will, we will need you to send us an email requesting that you be given the key so you can vote. For whatever reason, you can't find the email, you, 
you know, you deleted the text and you need us to give you the key so that you can vote. It has to come from your email and then we will respond to it. We won't be responding just because uh, somebody's saying, oh, this agent in my office needs this key. It's got to be from the individual themselves. Now, Monica, can mm -hmm. you let members know when the, the voting closes? Voting closes Friday at 5.30, and the minute the voting ends at 5.30, results will be available and be able to be seen by everybody. Gotcha, gotcha, perfect. That'll yes. work. So Friday, guys, we will know how the results of those votes. Um, Monica, anything else you want to add on the voting? Um, just, you know, this is this is everybody's opportunity to, um, to participate and um, be supportive, or, you know, or express a, a contrary opinion. But this is your time to be supportive of the membership and the decision of the board of directors to waive the third quarter fees. Um, and again, it was it's a it's a big decision that was made by the board of directors. And and this, but this is your opportunity to show support for that decision. So just perfect, vote. Perfect. Exactly, you guys. Uh, yeah, this is this is your chance to for your voice, uh, get out there and cast your vote. Um, moving on, uh, as you guys can see, we got Nick Cantu. Y'all know Nick is the past pre is a past president of GMAR. He's also the one that uh, had this this wild idea for for a tree pack fishing tournament. And here we are going on our fourth year. Unfortunately, we had to push it back a little bit. But uh, to talk tree pack, to talk the fishing tournament, to talk the barbecue tournament, I give you guys our Region 11 Vice President, Nick Cantu. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, for that. Welcome. Um, <clears throat> I hope everybody's staying safe out there, but we have been doing some stuff behind the scenes. We've been in co communication with Louis Backyard. We've rescheduled our fishing <laughs> tournament for August the 14th and 15th. So, um, you know, I hope you guys uh, take some time and, and you know, uh, make reservations to get out there and hang out with us. Uh, <clears throat> we had some awesome room blocks, uh, starting with the Courtyard Marriott, uh, the Hilton, La Quinta, La Copa. So we've got a price point for everybody's palate there, but please, you know, um, let's not wait till, till then, reach out to them. Uh, make your reservation, just mention the tree pack fishing tournament and they should have a discount for you guys. Um, that was uh, put together by uh, uh, by the committee there. So <clears throat> again, August the 14th and 15th, Louis Backyard guys, um, you know, since, since they put the uh, traveling band and all that, fishing has really uh, had a chance to kind of come back and so we're expecting some good fishing this next couple of months um, especially for our people that are coming in from out of town august will definitely be a, a hot one but what better way to spend it by the water right so um you know we're looking forward to that jonathan again like you said our our fourth uh, fishing tournament so we've been able to work out a little bit of the kinks now um, some of the stuff that we've been in communication within the committee is is how we make it a little more comfortable for everybody and we've been in communication with Louise as well talking about disinfecting um, you know we have some ideas to to help uh, with hand sanitizer to make sure everybody's comfortable at the event so again um, you know we're not going to let it uh, dampen the whole whole event. We're, we're just trying to figure out some ways to, to make sure that it happens in a safe way and that we all have some fun. So again, August the 14th and 15th. And uh, if you have any questions, you can of course reach out to me or Monica, um, uh, Umberto at the office. Everybody's got some information there and we appreciate everybody's help and support. Um, you know, Facebook has changed a lot these last couple of years. So um, if you see, you know, some of our information, please feel free to share it, guys. I mean, that's why we put it out there. So um, if you guys could just help us with that, spread the word. We'd love to make it our best fishing tournament to date. And so also, yeah. Nick, we, we already have some um, sponsors returning from last year, some teams returning Correct. from last year. Um, tell me a little bit about those, those sponsors and, and how important they've been. Well, <clears throat> definitely. I mean, we, we thank our title companies, uh, uh, 
uh, Gulf sponsors, um, Land Title Texas, Sierra Title, San Jacinto Title. I've all stepped up to the plate again and, and being our golf, our golf uh, uh, tournament sponsors. And so that's a big help, um, you know, especially because when we first started the tournament, we had some, some support, you know, it was a new event. We were able to, call, uh, Monica, you were able to, to, to get us some grants for this event, but um, that's no longer there. So we need all the help and, and support we can. And so we, we couldn't do it without our, our sponsors. So we thank them for that. And we have, and um, of course, go ahead. And, and I just wanted to say the captains, I have been in touch with the captains. Um, now we've kind of become Facebook buddies. And so they're, they're eager as well. And of course, now that the band's been lifted, they've been on the water a lot and, and posting some, some awesome pictures of, of their catches. So, so we're excited, especially since this year, now we're offering the captain's division. It'll help, uh, help even the playing field, if you may, right? Because um, not every amateur gets to be on the water as much as the captain. So this, this year, we're going to have two payouts, uh, one for the captains, one for the amateurs. And, you know, we hope that that helps lure in some more, um, some more participants. Uh, now, Nick, um, Nick for, for those that haven't participated or those new members that haven't been around for the past fishing trip, what is, you know, what can they expect on the, the Friday night and what can they expect on a Saturday? Thank you, Jonathan. Well, definitely Friday night, you want to be there. Uh, that's the captain's party that happens there at Louis um, in the afternoon. <clears throat> and uh, what takes place there is all the teams stop by, pick up the registration packets, but it's also a great opportunity to kind of mingle amongst each other. Uh, we've got our uh, MC, Vinny D. I'm sure you've seen him at, at our tree pack events. He's always a lot of fun and helps lighten the mood. And um, so there'll be opportunity for, for uh, to, to purchase tickets for, for the um, silent auction and raffle items. Um, there'll be, uh, that's where the Calcutta registration and drawings take place. So that's definitely important information if you want to participate in the Calcutta, which gets very healthy. You know how we love to compete. So um, a lot of teams pony up and, and that makes for a very, uh, very healthy uh, purse. Uh, so again, you know, just Friday, we want to definitely make some time, get down there, hang out. Um, there'll be, you know, you'll have a chance to, to visit with the sponsors. We roll out some food and then Saturday, the fishing takes place and the boats start coming in a little after lunchtime. That's when the captains start dropping off their, their participants and their halls. And then, um, the weigh in is, will close at four o'clock. So by then all the boats that are weighing in the fish will have to uh, be in. And it's just a great time to hang out, have a margarita by the water, look at the fish that comes in. And there's also some good trash talking and, and catching up from the night before. So uh, definitely a unique event. Um, you know, we're the only association that puts this on in the state. Um, and this year we're fortunate enough to have um, some participants from all over the state, starting with our leadership team and, and some of our tree pack big big shots up at the state that will be coming down and participating with us. So it'd be a great opportunity to also show them, uh, you know, our, our, our own buy-in into this event and also a chance to network with them and, and exchange business cards and, and just, you know, kind of put a face to some of these people um, and, and hang out. Great. Um, and I queued up the video from that we have from the fishing tournament last year. I was hoping to play it and I'm hoping that the sound doesn't like drown us out or that we can, maybe I can mute it. Um, but are y'all hearing it or is yeah. it, I can mute it maybe and at least it'll be playing in the background. Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. You know, and, um, <clears throat> you know, this is also, um, this is also a family family event, guys. So there's a lot of there's a lot of people that you, you, that come out. You see a lot of families. You see a lot of kids. I think Nick, the last couple of years, we've seen your daughter running around there. Yeah, she's kind of become our 
unofficial trophy girl. Now she looks forward to it. When we get there, she's all about the trophies and handing them out. But but you're right, Jonathan, it is. I've, I've got some great pictures where, um, you know, uh, our friends from the, the, the lending world bring out all their families. And it's just, you know, it's great to kind of hang out, unwind and talk a little bit of business, but have some fun by the water. And this year, you know, in April, we, we had strategically placed it in April because historically that's when the bigger fish are, are in the bay. But, um, but, but we were always kind of dodging the, the weather. We had gotten lucky the last couple of years. We had good weather, but it seemed like Sunday, the weather would either drop and get cold or windy or rainy. And so we've always been lucky with that. But this year in August, uh, we don't have to worry about the cold. It'll most definitely be a, a warm one. But, uh, you know, again, being by the water, it should be, uh, it should make for a good time. Definitely put on some sunblock, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. And so, well, uh, Monica, Monica, you want to add anything on the fishing tournament? I know you're, you're always there firsthand, and there you are right there with the raffle. Yeah, I'm playing the video. So everybody's watching the video. They're not seeing our pretty faces. And, and maybe that's a good thing right now. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah the fishing tournament's always so much fun and when i play the video this video for the new members during new member orientation i get we get very they get very excited um because you can see from the video you can capture how much fun it is you kind of get the energy that's going on and yeah you definitely don't want to miss the, the the captain's turn uh meeting on the friday night we're doing the um uh, what's it called nick the the money the um, the calcutta the cal that, we're doing the calcutta the, stuff over eighty yep, eight hundred dollars last year eighty eight hundred dollars during the calcutta division that was divided between the red and the trout division that's a lot of yep. cash that's a lot of money that that goes back to to the winners and it's also <laughs> exciting this year because the committee really listened to the attendees and said we're going to separate it. It's going to, we're going to have a professional division. We're going to have the amateur division. We want everyone to feel that they have a shot to win. And um, yeah. the Calcutta is just going to be spread out for, for both of them. But at the same, I'm just, I think it's going to be uh, so much more exciting for the people in the amateur division to know like we can still get first and second and we're not competing. Uh, we have mm -hmm. a better shot. So I, I think it's going to yeah. be even more exciting this year than the previous couple of years. And it definitely has grown a, a great deal. And yeah, August is going to be perfect weather. We're all going to feel a lot better about what's going on. And, and we may want to, you know, make the subtitle of the Corona year. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> that might yeah, be our, our, <laughs> our, we, we might have to get the, the corona girls to be like the hand sanitizer shop people oh my god that's a great idea you see we come up with these ideas right on the spot because because <laughs> of the excitement it's so much fun um but it, so really and, we and go ahead we were we were right at we were right under um we were right over 40 boats before all this uh shut down so you know it was it was well on its way to be uh, another huge turnout and again we're excited and the reason we really harp on the captain's party is because you know i i've been to a lot of tournaments where you know you have some teams the majority of teams show up but in our tournament every team that has registered with us shows up so that really makes for a fun night and and uh, you know again just kind of um, gets us excited as a committee to highlight that to the to the association at the state level and our leadership, um, you know, to to really see that people are excited about this and and hopefully, uh, you know, again look for ways to team up with with our leaders up at state and and you know again just um, going out there and having a good time and and enjoying the each other and the weather. Hopefully, we'll have a great time again. August the fourteenth and fifteenth. Um, we look forward to seeing everybody out there. Yep, we definitely do. And I think we're all after the last uh, month, six weeks, whatever it is that people have been uh, locked down, uh, we're all needing something to look forward to. 
and get excited about. And this has always been the, the, the one uh, for the year. And of course we have other things coming down the road the other thing i wanted to say is that the the you know the fly the stuff that i was sharing about the fishing tournament um the flyer it it uh it's available we have copies of it and i know that the committee is going to be going and dropping stuff off, uh, dropping some off at different businesses um you know affiliates and stuff um and you know we have so we'll have some here in the office if you'd like one uh let us know we will have somebody get it to you we have the electronic version of it so that if you want to share it um to with you know family you, you're welcome to do that um so yeah we we're gonna have the information ready we're ready to have more sponsors and we're ready to make this bigger than it's ever been one thing i wanted to add is um nick monica you all know firsthand how much work it takes to put this on guys if any if anybody's uh interested in becoming a tree pack committee member or part of the pr committee to help push this event I know the tree pet committee would love to have your support there. Um, that way, you know, we, we can need, we can use all the help we can get. Absolutely. It, it, Absolutely. There's never a shortage of, of friends and hands that we can use uh, to, to just move things and get things organized and get, get it going. Um, but again, it's, it's a lot of fun and, it, you know, we have a wrap, you know, we have tickets that we're you're, you can get, your hands on while we're there. Um, there's always ways that you can participate, even if it means you're not a sponsor. We welcome everybody to come and enjoy the tournament. Bring your people, bring their families or kids. It's it's a fun event. It's a great weekend, and and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Yep, absolutely. Exactly. So, well, we're very excited, and I, I, I always try to keep these Monday uh, things to thirty minutes, uh, and we hit it oh, so fast be good. today. I, it, it came before I knew it, um, but that's because well, that's how exciting we are. Excited we are about the fishing tournament. I wanted exactly. to end on one other thing: is uh, Jonathan Cindy, next week, next Monday, we have a very special guest. Yeah, next week uh, we're looking forward to everybody being able to attend. Uh, next week, we have chairman of the board for Texas Realtors, Cindy Bola, joining us. Um, it's going to be a very open discussion. Um, Monica and I are going to put together some, some talking points to go over with Cindy. I asked her if she wanted to put together any. She said no. She would leave it up to us. Uh, but we have the chairman of the board for Texas Realtors joining us. Um, I know to bring us some insight of what's going on with Texas Realtors, what members can do, um, what they're seeing on their side right now with, uh, you know, how, every, how everything's been a little bit slow for coronavirus but hopefully everybody can attend that one um, but i know we'll have that video made available as well just like this one will be available uh, but next week uh, monday 2 p.m join us with texas realtors chairman of the board cindy bola yeah and i want to remind everybody um that this week on the 15th is it that's the last day to protest tax your tax your appraisal values yes nick go ahead I just, I just, before I forget, and I'm so sorry, um, the census, if, if everybody could just remember to help spread the word about how important the census is and, and filling that out. Um, it's very important, guys. Uh, I've seen some stuff go out and our area is a little behind on reporting. Um, so if we could, you know, do our part and share with our clients and our friends and family that it's, it's very important that we fill out that census. And so keep an eye out for stuff that's been going out from the association. And, and uh, again, just take a minute to fill that out. Great. Well, thank that's you guys it. for joining me again. And uh, next Monday, it's going to be Cindy Vula, yeah, our state CEO, and we're going to look towards the future. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. Have a great one.